Hey guys, this is Jamin with PC Monkey. Uh, we're doing a key repair video here. Uh, we have a Samsung NP300E5E, or more commonly called the 300E uh, series computer. So we're gonna be replacing a large key on this keyboard today. Uh, the reason why we're replacing a key and not the entire keyboard is if you look underneath, if you open your computer up and you look at it, this is a French inset keyboard. It's not held on by screws. So you cannot unscrew this, put a new one on, and then screw it back. These are all plastic rivets that hold this on. So to get this up, you have to rip it up, break all these rivets, and when you get your new keyboard on, there's no real way to secure it unless you want to just run uh, tape along it. Not an ideal way to do it. So we prefer, if you lose a key or break a key, we prefer replacing that key uh, by itself. You can either find those loose on eBay sometimes, or you can buy a used keyboard and then take a key off of that and put it on here, which is what we're gonna show you. If you're looking for the normal size keys, the link is in the description for that video. In this video, we're gonna do a, a larger key. Uh, shift, enter, space, the larger keys, because they look a little uh, different than these other keys do. So we're gonna go after your shift key today. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're doing. So you're gonna want a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better, a normal household one won't work. Um, it'll break your, your key. So what we're doing here is we're gonna put this screwdriver underneath your key cap, which is this top part, but above the retainer clip, which is underneath and you can't see it, so it's kinda of tricky. But we're gonna go slow and feel it out, and uh, you'll be able to see once we get in there. So gently get this thing under your key cap. Gently pry it up. There we go. Wait for the next one. All right. Okay. Looked a little messy. This thing came up. And I'll zoom in a little more so you can see what we were trying to hold down. You see those two little plastic clips on either side? That's what we we're trying to hold down. Those are made up of incredibly thin, um, easily broken plastic. So if you were to just grab this and rip it up, those would bend and break. The idea was to take this and go underneath your cap and hold these down as we pried this up. And then as I got that up, I bent this up, went further in and held that one down. So that's, that's the idea. Then you have this little rubber bouncy component. Do not rip that up. <laughs> these are such a, they're held down by glue. Um, and if you rip that up, it's so hard. Hopefully you don't lose it, but it's so hard to get it back on there. And then you have this metal bar uh, which runs along the top. This is kind of easy. If, if it comes out, don't don't freak out. It it just fits into the. Um, it comes out very easily. It fits inside these two metal holes there. Get that back in there. Get that back in there. It, it's it's a pretty easy component. Now these black components. These are the tricky parts um, to get these off. So if you look, let me zoom in a oh, zoom in a little more there. If you look, there's three metal pins holding this on. You got one at the base right here in the center and then two in the upper corners. To get this off is very tricky and this is where you're gonna break it if you do. Uh, these metal pins are holding on very, e e even smaller pieces of plastic that can are so easy to break. So I'm gonna try to get this off without breaking it to sh give you a better idea of what you're looking at. I'm gonna push up with my uh, thumbnail try to get as much wiggle room as I can and gently try to pry that out from under the metal without breaking it. So we'll see if I can pull it off. Oh, oh, I think I did it. Nice. All right. We'll get you a better look at that now that it's out. All right, so that's the component right here. That metal part at the base was put right there to hold it down. And then up top, flip that around. I don't know if you can even see that, they're so small. But there's a little plastic protrusion right there and another one right there. These are so tiny and that's what's held down underneath that metal and that's what breaks off when you try to pull this out. So that's what you're trying not to break. Now in order to get this back on, we're gonna go in reverse. We're gonna put the bottom down first. So we're gonna get it centered, we're gonna get that metal clip there I'm gonna get the plastic underneath it, nice and centered. And then once that's in there, we're just gonna press down on the top and snap those back in. And uh, they, they usually don't break when you're snapping them back, it's usually a lot easier. 
Now, it's kind of tricky to get this cap back on because this metal bar, as you notice, kind of slides around, it's kind of goofy. So try to get it as centered as you can, just eyeball it. Take your cap, put it on top, center it, and this is trial and error, unfortunately. If, if, if you do it a lot, you get a feel for it, but you just push down and snap it back into place. There you go, and it works. That may take, I, I, I do this a lot, so I kind of know how, how to center it. If this is the first time you do it, it may take a few tries um, to get that bar just right and get the cap just right, but that's how it should work. So that is how you would salvage and uh, install a larger key on this model Samsung. Again, if you were looking for a smaller key video, the link is in the description. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself repair, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We get back to you at least a couple times a day. So thank you so much for watching.